So what exactly does it take to put an arrow through body armor? Hard or soft? Hang around and find out. That one scared me. <laughs> I've got to interrupt the video for a moment. YouTube is all over the place, and I don't know if this is going to get ads, it's not going to get ads, so we have to have a sponsor for this video, and our sponsor today is Turo. Turo is a peer-to-peer -peer car sharing service with over 850 makes and models available to rent in more than 5,500 cities across the U.S., Canada, Germany, and the U.K. You can have vehicles delivered straight to you even at the airport. Price is, on average, 30% less than traditional car rental services. Turo is super safe. Everyone in the community is screened, and 24-7 customer support and roadside assistance is available. I think the cool thing about Turo is that you can get luxury and exotic vehicles off of here. Not that I can afford them, but if I ever needed to do a shoot with, let's say, a Bentley, a Lamborghini Huracan, a Mercedes G-Class, or even a Rolls Royce, then by God, if I want that car for a day and I could shell out that much money, then hell yeah, brother. Holy shit, is that the Morty Mobile? No. Hey, <laughs> you can book the Morty Mobile. Turo can also be accessed on the web or by downloading the app available for iPhone or Android. Use the link in the description to sign up or use my promo code DONUT15 at checkout for $15 off your first trip. Hi everyone, Donut here. So I got to looking at some news recently. Some things showing some people flinging some arrows that could possibly hit other people. And I got to wondering, what does it actually take to pierce body armor? Hard or soft? I mean, can an arrow even go through a hard plate? You might be asking yourself at this point, Donut, what does this have to do with police stuff? Well, I made a video on bow and arrow crimes you can see right here. This video kind of boils down to, well, I got bows and I got arrows and I got cameras and YouTube channels, so heck, why not make a video? Starting this experiment off, an arrow, regardless of what tip you use, is going to pierce skin. I got hit in the head with an arrow that didn't even have a tip on it and it went an inch into my face. As far as the bows that we're going to be shooting at the hard and soft armor, we are using a Hoyt Redworks RX3 carbon bow with a 70 pound pull weight. The second bow that we are going to be using is a Gen X with a 14 pound pull weight. As far as draw weight goes, those are pretty much opposite ends of the spectrum. We're going to be using 400 grain carbon arrows. In addition, we're going to be using two different kinds of arrowheads. Filled tips, which are basically pointy practice tips, and fixed broadheads, which are normally used for hunting. They have four razor sharp blades on them. Our armor is going to be attached to a layered foam target that's placed up against a tree for stability. As far as the armor that we're going to be testing goes, when it comes to body armor, there are a bunch of different kinds of ratings all over the world. We're going to be taking a look at the U.S. Department of Justice's Office of Justice Programs Ballistic Resistance of Body Armor, also known as the NIJ Body Armor Standards. The NIJ standards contain Type 2A, Type 2, Type 3A, Type 3, and Type 4. We are going to be taking a look at the most common ratings, Type 3A and Type 3. Three. The soft body armor is going to be from Premier Body Armor. It's their level 3A universal fit backpack panel. This light 3A armor can be placed inside of a backpack and will stop 9mm, 40, 45, and 44 Magnum. On the Premier Body Armor website, they say they also tested this piece of armor against 12 gauge buckshot and slug, Liberty Civil Defense 9mm, and FN 57x28. The hard armor that we are going to be using is the level 3 hard panel for from A6 Tactical. This armor can withstand 762 by 51 millimeter bullets commonly fired from an M14, 762 by 39 millimeter bullets commonly fired from an AK-47, and 556 by 45 millimeter bullets commonly fired from an AR. Next step is to make some penetration juice so we can tell whether or not our arrows pierce the armor. Supplies needed are duct tape, food coloring, corn syrup, and Ziploc bags. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Let's do a couple of test shots from each bow. And here we go. First up, we have our level three hard armor plate. Test number one, small bow, filled tip. Test number two, small bow, broadhead. Test three, big bow, filled tip.
Test four, big bow broadhead. That one scared me. <laughs> The front holes are as follows, big bow, broadhead, big bow, filled tip, a bunch of practicing with the small bow filled tip, and the small bow broadhead. Now let's look at the back and see if anything went through. Nope, nothing made it through. It looks like the big bow broadhead did push through enough to make a lump in it, but that's about it. Let's go ahead and break out the soft armor. This time we're going to try the big bow out first. Test one, big bow filled tip. Test two, big bow, broadhead. <laughs> Test three, small bow, filled tip. <laughs> Test four, small bow, broadhead. Looks like some of the arrows definitely went through this time. The holes on the front side would be big bow broadhead, big bow filled tip, small bow broadhead, and small bow filled tip, which didn't even go through the duct tape. Let's take a look at the back side. Big bow broadhead went clean through and about four inches into the target. That was the one that splattered all over the place. Big bow filled tip also went clean through and two or three inches into the target. Small bow broadhead almost made it completely through. It looks like it got stuck on the sticker in the back. You can see a small spot where it's nearly poking through the sticker. So what did we learn? Broadheads shot from anything above, I'm gonna guess a 20 pound pull weight can penetrate 3A armor. Any kind of tip shot from a 70 pound pull weight can penetrate 3A armor. It takes a lot to go through a level three plate. I couldn't even do it with a 70 pound bow and razor sharp broadheads. Red food dye stains your hands and I need a pressure washer. Crap. Looks like John just got home from school, so we can at least let him finish off the bags of penetration fluid. Ooh, right to the left. Oh, oh, you got it. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure had fun making it. As always, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. As soon as this video is released, I'm gonna be over at twitch.tv slash donut operator where you can come subscribe for free using your Amazon Prime account. Every little bit helps. Until next time, everybody please have a fantastic day.